Hey y'all, please come on in the house. Uh, I've had so many people uh, ask me, when are you gonna do the tour again? Y'all promised that y'all were gonna do a tour. Well, we're still unpacking boxes, honey. We don't know where a lot of things are gonna go. We'll put it here, but then two weeks, it may not look anything like that, who knows? I'm the type that I have to live in a place for a while uh, to see exactly how I want it to live for me. So today, I'm only showing y'all the kitchen. And people that have known me for the past 20 years, uh, you know that this is where I filmed all my shows, in this kitchen right here. So a lot of y'all will recognize it. Uh, when I first started uh, with cooking shows, I actually flew to Millbrook, New York, and I used Gordon Elliott and his wife's kitchen. So that was not mine, it was, it was Gordon's. And uh, so after doing that for a season or two, I said, you know, this is very, very hard. Um, I'd like to do it at home. So the rest of my tenure, I shot out of this kitchen. And so come on in y'all. And I wanna hear what you think. If you got some good ideas, let me know. Eddie, Eddie teases me that I decorate by committee. It doesn't matter if I love something. I've got to ask everybody that comes in the room, do you like that? <laughs> that comes from being a people pleaser, y'all. And I still hadn't learned I don't have to worry about pleasing anybody in my home but me. <laughs> but I can't help it. All right, so uh, in the renovation, these were shutters. The two cabinets were shutters and we decided to close those up because we actually needed the wall space uh, that's in the kitchen, that's in the living room. So now that gives us a good bit more uh, wall space in our living room area. And uh, if we go way back, there used to be a built-in cabinet right here. It came out about this far. My convection oven was in there, and then uh, cabinets and dishes and storage stuff was there. Well, we decided to take that out. And I'm gonna show you some of the pieces that Eddie and I have found uh, after we sold uh, River Bend and sold it furnished. I had to get to shopping. So I'm gonna point out just a few of the things that we bought. Uh, we just found this piece about a month ago, wasn't it, Eddie? Yes. We walked into Tapley's little antique mart here in Savannah. And she has, she used to have uh, Habersham Antiques, right, Eddie? You're right, a group, Habersham group shop, yeah. Yes, where people have their own booths, you know, individual booths. So I found this in her store and I thought it was beautiful. Is is it 17th century it's, or 18th it's, century? It's a early um, 18th century uh, early. English English okay. Welsh dresser. Okay, 18th century. So, so, so it'd be 1700s. Okay, 1700s. That's what I thought. I can get that confused. <laughs> um, so this was built over 300 years ago. And it could tell a lot of stories, I bet. I just love it. Look at the... And the, uh, these are some pictures, Eddie, of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> but it, the drawers are still in good shape. And we're using that to keep... Oh, there's our napkin rings. I love, I love the shiny. So like I said, we're still trying to figure out where everything is. But uh, I love all the silver. I just found this piece at Seventh Heaven and I just love it. I will, I will actually be using this. It's great for breakfast or brunch to put your sausage or your bacon in. And, uh, Eddie, God love him. <laughs> he 
took a piece of wood, like plywood, and he painted it the color of the walls, and he attached the chicken wire to it. Because without that, we couldn't put any dishes on it. They would have fallen to the floor. Well, I didn't actually. I. I suggested it. I, I had uh, Mike help me stretch. That. Well, but it was your idea. It was your idea, and yes, Mike, uh, another man in our life here that I love. Uh, yes, he he helped Eddie do it. And of course, I finally got room for my baby's bed to come back in the house. Uh, this is where they'll take their afternoon naps when their mama's in the kitchen. Lulu's been enjoying it. Yeah, Lulu has been sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. So, uh, we had drapes in here, but those have long gone because I'm not using the same colors. But I was just talking with Carolyn Haltman, who has Haltman Interiors here in Savannah. She has decorated every, uh, Paula Dean's family kitchen, no matter what state it's in. Carolyn's done them all. And she just knows my taste and she knows the colors I like. Uh, so she was out here and she's gonna help Eddie and me with some kind of drapery. I'm not having anything made, y'all, because it's so damn expensive, so expensive. But she's got this company that you can just buy the panels from. And um, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then we will uh, probably just glue some tape on the edges. And they'll look like a million bucks for a hundred bucks. <laughs> and I can't remember how long I've had this table, y'all, but this farmhouse table is, it's old, 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 old wood. Old heart pine. Heart pine, yes. And the chairs, I wanted uh, ladder back chairs so badly. I wanted a very understated chair and so we were in clutters one day clutters is a shop where if you want to sell something you take it to lynn the clutters and she will sell it for you and uh lynn really gets some pretty things in doesn't she eddie yes yeah it's a great little treasure hunt place great little treasure hunt so that's where we finally found our chairs and um This is very special to me. This was Michelle and Anthony's great-grandmother's sofa. And Michelle called me a month or so ago and she said, I'm still hauling around Nana's sofa. Do you think you might want it? And I said, well, send me a picture, honey. I don't remember what it looks like. She sent me a picture and I said, heck yes, I want it. Uh, so she brought it right over and Nana passed away at 102. And so I'm just thrilled that Michael's children can come in this house and see something that uh, has history to them. That's real important to me. So that is Nana's sofa. And the rest of the furniture is Paula Dean. Paula Dean. <laughs> Homemade comfort. Wonderful Craftmaster. Yes, Craftmaster <laughs> is who does my upholstered furniture. And um, I said, I want every chair in this house to swivel and rock. Because I don't think I had the first rocking chair, Eddie, at, with every grandchild. I never had one. <laughs> uh, this is another piece that I bought at Tapley's, and it's very, very old. Very, very old, but so pretty. So very I th I pretty. I think this one, um, I think this one we got at uh, Bull, Bull Street, and... Um, Are you sure? Yeah, um, the, the, the... I know the one in the living room we got Tapley's. from Tapley's. This one we got at Bull, and You know, you are right. Early, you, this one's 19th century, the other right. one's 18th century. Uh -huh, that one's the oldest in there. You're exactly right, and one day I'll show you the one that's older than this one. You're right, we got that at Bull Street Antiques, I guess is yeah. what they go by. So this area, oh, and let me show you this, okay. This we found at Seventh Heaven. 
This is so primitive and old. Uh, is this Danish, do you think? Th this is uh, an American piece. It's um, American? Yeah. And wow. it's, um, I, we were told um, that it came out of um, Johnny Mercer's family. That's right. Um, from a family member. So. That's right. I wonder what family. I wonder if it could have been his mother's and father's or. But it, it I mean, to me, it reminds me of something from the maybe like the Pennsylvania area yeah. with the heart cutouts and for these would have been probably for spoons yeah. and utensils. Yeah, 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 I bet, I bet, I bet, Eddie, I bet you're right. And it probably, probably sat on top of a piece of furniture even maybe. Uh-huh, I think, I think that it did. Uh, and the drawers still work. And what year is this, Eddie? You know, um, he didn't, he didn't say. What is that? There's a piece of wood from something. It must be from my legs. But I'm um, just looking at it. It looks mm -hmm. like it would be uh, either late 18th century or well, early. Well, if Jim 18th. Williams had it, he had exquisite taste. Yeah, no, well, not Jim Williams, Johnny Mercer's. Family. Oh, Johnny Mercer. Oh, sure. I thought you said that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting mixed up now. It's late in the day, and we've been working most of the day. So, Johnny Mercer, and um, I love Johnny Mercer's music. In fact, when I live next door, uh, in my condo, my neighbor was Johnny Mercer's niece, and she knows she's no longer with us. Her name was Nancy, and oh, she could sing, and she just had the most wonderful, one of those people that you just love being around. So I'm glad I got that in my mind, that maybe that was, could have been from Nancy's family. Who Possibly, knows? Possibly, yeah, yeah. And uh, these plates are the plates that my grandmother Paul and my grandfather Paul, this is what they served their steaks on at River Bend Restaurant. If you came in and ordered a steak, it was going to be on the ivory, ivy china. So that's very, very special to me. Very, very special. And um, let's see what else. Do you so want to talk anyway, about your chandelier a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if you'll remember, I don't know if y'all will remember, but this was all porch. And uh, 17 years ago when we built this house, our family was not that big. But now we have 11 grandchildren. And when we get together, it's 21 or 22 of us. Uh, so I said, you know, we got to have more room. We can't sit anybody in this in the space the way it was. So I had them take this wall down and shove it out to the porch. And uh, so our porch is much smaller, but that's all right by me because it's so dadgum hot, you don't stay out there too, too long. So I would like, I got one more thing in here I'd like to show y'all. Uh, and this is our, our lighting. Uh, Eddie and I went over to Bluffton, South Carolina, which is just across the bridge and uh, to a store called The Light Post. And Becky, what's Becky's last name? I believe it's Brackett. Brackett. Yeah. Becky Brackett. Yeah, I, th I think so. I That's hope hard so. to I, say. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so she handmade all of our light fixtures. And this, if you stand up underneath it, it is incredibly beautiful. But, um, I'm going to have her make some changes on it because it's a little too flat for me. So I'm going to have her come and do some twisting on those copper leaves and bring some copper up to the ceiling. Uh, because, like I said, it doesn't do it justice unless you're standing right under it. But uh, they make beautiful, beautiful... Um, lightings all kind okay so here's what y'all really gonna remember and that's the kitchen you know i had a fireplace here uh at one time it was another color and this was my countertop and we got a we put a new countertop on it and we actually made a ledge so we could sit up here 
and eat. So this is where Michael and Eddie and I eat every night. Um, and it's just as comfortable as can be. We got the same uh, stove, the same stove there, the same vena hood. Everything's just been painted, y'all. And uh, we always had these little bench seats. But while we were doing them, I asked them if they would uh, make them where they lift up. So I've got storage in there. Uh, and Eddie has stuck family pictures up here, which I love looking at. Just love looking at all the babies. And this was the only pantry that I had, y'all. And I remember when we built this house, I said, I just want my pantry to have screen doors. So, <laughs> it's got screen doors, which I keep open most of the time. But I just thought that was such a wonderful little farmhouse look. And we don't have this room done yet. We are working on it, but it's where my microwave and my big convection oven. You know, this is just like we use in the restaurants. And once you get used to cooking on these, in these, I can't hardly cook, cook in a, like a home oven. So, uh, we have refrigerated drawers coming for right there. They're not in yet. But uh, we've got lots of cabinet space for stuff. <laughs> You know, that stuff that we all collect. We've got enough liquor to make this whole town drunk. M and, Michael, Michael likes to collect things. <laughs> he does like to collect things. And um, we don't even drink. Michael might take a drink every three months. You know it, Eddie? I think he's trying to get into wine. Oh, is he? <laughs> he's trying, trying. Oh, he wants to be a little bit more <laughs> not so redneckish. <laughs> He will never make it, Eddie. He's a redneck. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, I don't know how much this got in the shot, but uh, I also, one of my requests was when we built this house 17 years ago, um, I wanted uh, an appliance pantry because I don't like having to get down on my hands and knees to pull things out of the drawer that I don't use that often. So this is wonderful. I actually made a cake and I made some cookies the other day. I just wanted to make sure that this felt and moved like I wanted it to, and it does. It's just a perfect place to bake. I love it. Got everything I need to bake us a cake, honey, right there. All right, let me get this shut back up. And then we've got a lot of big space down. I've got a real deep drawer right there to cook, keep my pressure cooker and my big pieces of cookware. I mean, it's just really, it's really a lot of, lot of space. And this piece I had when we built the house down the road, River Bend, I asked them, to, the guys that were doing some woodwork for us, if they would build me something for the laundry room so I'd have some place to fold the clothes and all of that. So they built me this, and that was in the laundry room at River Bend. And Eddie pulled it in here yesterday, was it Eddie, or day before yesterday? Yeah. And I'm still looking at it. <laughs> like I say, it has to grow on me. Uh, it's so handy as far as the space. But I don't know if we're gonna keep it or not, but it's beautiful wood. It came from something else they were building there in the house for me. And uh, I wanna show you this little lamp. I just love this lamp. So, the story behind this is I found this frog at Home Goods. So I took it to Joe at Seventh Heaven and said, Joe, could you make 
my frog, could you kiss my frog and turn him into a lamp? <laughs> and he said yes, and he did. And I just think he's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Kiss a frog. Uh, we were fortunate. Our same refrigerator is still working after 17 years. Uh, I'm waiting on freezer drawers for right here. Uh, you know, it's just amazing when you've been in a kitchen for 50 years how much stuff you can collect. But I'm really, I've decided I want to be a min minimalist. Did I say it right, Eddie? Yep. Minimalist. Surrounded by all this stuff. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to refresh you on what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I've got our dictionary from when I was a child in there. You might have me look up that word, but you know what? I couldn't spell it to look it up. <laughs> that would be my problem. So when we lived here before, y'all, this was Michael's office. Michael did not need an office, I realized, because we built this when we first married. Um, and I didn't realize with him being a harbor pilot, his office is the river. So I found that he just kind of cluttered up this room with nonsense kind of stuff. I hope Michael doesn't watch this. <laughs> this video but anyway so I told him I said this time around you don't get your office you lose in your office because I need another pantry so I did have them put a knee hole here and he can put his computer there but look at my pantry y'all I love this pantry you know why is that yours, Eddie? Yes, yes. yeah, that's mine. Oh, um, I love it because it's not deep and I don't have to pull half of the drawer out to find what I'm looking for. I just love it, love it. And it's tucked around here where you can't see it, you know, from the kitchen. And we're having doors. I don't like all these open cabinets so much. I don't have that much pretty that I want to see. I got... Um... I was going to say a menagerie, and there is some animals in here. But uh, Steve, the cabinet man, is putting doors here, here, and here. And we're going to keep this open because these are the cows that my Aunt Peggy gave me. Uh, how, how long ago? A couple of months, Ed? Uh, yeah, I think the When we were there to out. see her. So I, I want to see these every time I want to see them. Uh, that cow actually uh, mooed. It was. Uh, Is it a Mattel? Yes. A Mattel uh, child's toy. Yeah, they o they owned the toy house in Albany, in Columbus, and uh, one in Florida. And I don't know if it was for sale or if Mattel gave it to them uh, as a prop for the Mattel toys. I don't know. I'll have to ask Aunt Peggy that. But uh, it's just so nice to have all this room. And I so appreciated living at Bobby and Clouds. But uh, all of his cabinets were full of his stuff. <laughs> and so I had to put just a little bit on top of Bobby's stuff. But I will never be able to convey to them how much that meant to Michael and me. Uh, to have that opportunity to stay there. So, that's it for the kitchen, y'all. And the next, I'll do the living room, okay? I'll take you a tour on the living room. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I hope you saw the first couple of tours because it looked like a hurricane had come through this house. <laughs> so, love and best dishes, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.